It's Monday morning, and we're getting ready to start a new job. We're at a residence here in Westmont, and it's a beautiful setting here. We got uh, woodlands, we got a little stream over there. Here's the design. So we're gonna have a stoop coming out of here, which is that door right there. Uh, this deck gets uh, torn out, and there should be a patio here, all at one level. Another entrance going into some doors over here. Fire pit, sitting wall. Um, there's gonna be boulders and steps going down uh, the far side there, down around to the driveway. So there could be steps, boulders coming up and hitting this level up here. And uh, a sitting wall on this side, fire pit, and on this uh, bank over here, um, it's a perfect spot for a uh, water feature. So we're doing a little 10 foot harmless water feature coming off of there. It'll blend in nicely with the, uh, that real naturalistic uh, backdrop there. So that's what we got going on, on the back side. We're gonna have, uh, coming on this side, we're gonna have some steppers, and then some uh, walkways running down around this side. That tree goes. Uh, this would be a pad in here and some more, pretty much the whole way around the house here. That's what we got going on. Just gonna get start ripping and tearing. Hey there folks, Matt here from Tussie coming to you. And yeah, I'm telling you what, it is beautiful. We got some snow coming down, the woods look awesome, but there's some downsides too, you know? This doesn't look so pretty. We got mud, things are a bit cold. Over here, we're trying to install a water feature, and uh, as it goes here, we end up hitting uh, water lines that go right through the basin. So we had to redig that. And also this orange line here is our propane line going to the house. So, so yeah, there's definitely some obstacles here that we're working with trying to uh, get through uh, this. Um, so we can just go ahead and get off with building the water feature. Westmont, but it is beautiful. Getting ready to get things uh, rolling here. Up here we have, uh, I had to bring in the big guns here today. We got the professional pond waterfall builder, Weston Zerman over here. And uh, Weston, uh, what are you gonna do today? <laughs> First thing we did is we ripped out all your stuff. We all ripped it out. Okay, and then what? Uh, next, we found a hole underneath the boulder that you had just set. Yeah, well, all right. Did you know about that? I knew about that, yeah. Uh, now, the reason we ripped it out, we just need to get it back into that bank a bit further. Back into the bank more? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna just surrender my uh, <coughs> project here to Weston, I guess. Fight. 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 <laughs> Fine, whatever. I'm Big guns are here. Oh my, look at, oh. It's like, did, did you ride your horse up here? You got those pro road ears on, yeah, you got yeah, the, uh, the boots. <laughs> they keeping your toes warm? Yeah. <laughs> nice. So there you have it. We're going to build a waterfall right over here. And it's going to look like it's uh, just a uh, natural spring coming right out of the woods. Okay, folks, update time. We got ourselves a swanky water feature here. The only problem is it's a little bit too cold to foam. So we didn't do any graveling in the bottom or anything because we're pretty sure we're gonna have to re-foam some of this stuff. But we got it to a point where we're gonna try to plug it in and then see how it looks. This is a sweet waterfall. It's gonna be filling out, spilling out right over here. Some of it's gonna be falling down here. Some of it's gonna be falling down over into this little pool, pulling up in there and kicking around this way and all shooting out there like a gusher. It's gonna be wild, crazy. Up there we got a tooth here. That's the spearway. Got a tooth here coming out there. It'll be swanking out through there. Matt just fired up the generator. Let's see about plugging this baby in. You ready? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Looky here. Oh my goodness. Beautiful. Beautiful. Wow, that's epic. <laughs> that's awesome. Hey, pretty cool, eh? Good morning there, folks. Matt coming to you here again from the uh, job site. As you can see over my shoulder here, we've got uh, an excavation happening for the uh, patio. It's gonna run right around there. 
Yeah, there should be a big board right here in the end. Of a wall right there. And then I'll go the whole way up. Curve into those doors, back around, and into the doors on the far side there. You can't see them, but that's what we got going. Yesterday, we got the water feature mostly done. I brought in the A-Team to uh, knock this thing out. We're able to run a little bit, and it looks great. Um, just waiting on some warmer temperatures to get that finished up. In the meantime, we're on to the patio. Folks, Matt coming to you here from Westmont. Up through this direction, we're eventually gonna have a sidewalk running up through here. And uh, the guys over here right now are laying in some stepping stones. But before we get back there, this area right here is gonna be pavers eventually. So back from that corner here on around the house is going to be just uh, natural Black Hills uh, flagstone, a uh, little naturalistic, kind of blend into the landscape. And uh, hopefully over time, the moss and ferns and whatnot take over. And uh, it's going to be great. What do you think, guys? Awesome. Getting her done? Oh, All yeah. right. So I wasn't here yesterday, but uh, Dustin and the crew was. And uh, this is what they got done. Got this whole patio laid out. From here on over, we're going to focus on that next. So sitting walls in, making all of our cuts. Water creature isn't running just yet, still waiting for some warmer weather to finish uh, foaming that up. We've got our boulders worked in here, all nestled in. So uh, yeah, it's coming along and looking good. We've got uh, Teco Block Flagstone Patio, which is uh, not a typical paver that we lay, but uh, with the setting and whatnot, it has that naturalistic feel. So there you have it. Weather's been fairly decent for us over here. Um, eventually, at least, there's going to be a walkway coming up along here. Right underneath where that track is sitting. And up around this corner. One of the things we ran into was that post right there was uh, restricting what we were able to do. So we had to do a little bit of uh, re-engineering here. We're actually going to eliminate that post and move the post back two feet over to there. That will allow us more room to bring our walkway right through here so that we can clear this, which is our septic uh, riser. So that's a few little challenges we have going on here. And then up here, Dustin and uh, crew yesterday knocked out this, which is going to be uh, a very nice access into the house here. They wanted a, uh, a walkway with no steps so they can easily access it by, you know, with a scooter or you name it. From here on down, same deal, papers are gonna flow down and around that corner and right out through there once we get the post reset. So this is coming along pretty nice. Straight up into here, looks nice. Backside over here we have uh, stepping stones leading around to the patio and uh, water feature. It's gonna be a good day to wash off the patio. We had a bunch of dust on it, so there you have it. So here we got the uh, sidewalk and uh, it's pretty much just about done. Now the guys were there ripping out some old railroad ties. Could get those out of the ground. So it turned out super nice. No steps in that. It'll be uh, easy access to the side of the house. So here we are, back up in Westmont. We are uh, doing what it takes. It's beautiful, we got snow, but uh, snow never really helps the job site go too well. So we got the things scraped off, blown off, and hopefully we're gonna lay the rest of these pavers from here on over. We got our steps done going into the house over here. Got the cap on this wall. And uh, so despite everything, uh, things are moving on. So there you have it. Hopefully we'll have these papers in here uh, later today. Get this patio wrapped up.
Well, we got another snowy, uh, beautiful morning up here in Westmont. Give you guys a little rundown of the job site going on here. We are pretty much done with this patio. Besides putting the sandlock in, which we can do when it's wet, and as you can see, it's it's definitely wet. We got snow coming down and mounting on the patio. Right now, we're throwing some pave edge in this edge over here. Pavers coming around, hitting that wall right there. On around. Um, we got a set of steps going in to the double doors here. So overall, it turned out good. From here on out, we are going to be working on steps. We've been uh, mucking up this hill for long enough now. We're ready to throw some steps in. Obviously, if we'd have put steps in before, that would have cut off our access. So being that we're done back here, we are ready to start steps. So we're going to have a set of steps, start right here, going up around, hitting that onto the patio. We'll be from here on down another landing, another set of steps going down there, probably another landing, and then another set of steps right down to the driveway. So probably three sets of steps uh, with pavers uh, in between. So as you can see, we are uh, playing in the mud. Hopefully get this uh, shaped up and look a little better here in a day or two. So that's what we got going. steps we got finished up it turned out excellent homeowners love them got some boulders worked in around the edges and on up around right up and onto this beautiful techo block flagstone patio so there you have it got a few details to wrap up here in the spring overall it's just about uh just about done 